Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 500 Mini, released in 1991 by those guys there, US Gold, but developed by those guys there, Probe. So it could have been worse, it could have been tear text. The music's quite nice. Anyway, if you're expecting an Outrun game, that's as close as you're going to get to it with that title there. And if you bought this back in the day expecting an Outrun game, well, suck to be you, because, well, this was on the Spectrum Master, Commodore, Amiga, Atari ST, Sega Master System, and Game Gear. Now, I played the Spectrum version. The interesting thing about the Spectrum version is it's monochromic, but the actual code is still there for it to be full colour. I think Dean Swain found that out, and then obviously uh, he did a video, and there are other videos of you being able to play it in full colour. I played it on the Spectrum, spoilers, it's shite. I played it on the Master System, spoilers, it's shite. I'll get into this quite quickly. I have played this very briefly because I had to work out what the controls were because they're awful. They're absolutely awful. Maybe this game isn't running correctly. Uh, you can, by all means, correct me, but I think I've got a handle on the controls. Anyway, this is not the game that it was going to be. So this was released in 1991, but it was announced, started to be developed in 1988, and it was going to be a sequel uh, to the port US Gold did of the original Outrun Arcade Machine. So I saw it at Spectrum Magazine, and it had the Fry Testarossa, because say what you want about the Spectrum version, I have a gameplay, uh, I have a soft spot for it, but its frame rate is in negative numbers. Um, the cars look fantastic. So there was a full page spread in one of the magazines, I want to say you'll see Claire, but can't remember, <coughs> excuse me, and um, it had the Fry Testarossa driving across Europe. And then this happened in 1991 and it is not an outrun game anyway fire so you start off outside dover and your car is being stolen and you end up on a motorbike which i mean i guess that means you stole it the box art has multiple cars and i've seen people driving cars and is there a boat at one point anyway so remember that bit of outrun when you're on a motorbike i don't either that was hang on <laughs> anyway speed bottom right 180 kilometers an hour that is an agent if you look at the bottom of the screen flashing saying agent to the left is i think those are turbos at the bottom don't know why they're at the, they are at the top because i've only got one far button oh shit um the undulation is all right the graphics are all right there's no in-game music time is to the bottom left then you press your turbo <clears throat> and then you go absolutely the controls are too sensitive and they're even worse on mouse so I've lost my turbo, so we press it again, and we go 250 kilometers an hour, which you obviously you need that because when the old bill come, you can't outrun them. And that agent car, I don't even know what that is. I couldn't find any instructions on it. I mean, who stole my car? Right. So you need the turbo to outrun both your agent, oh shit, and the old bill. So you have your changes in course, you know. Right? You cannot do it. Shit. You cannot do it with your regular bike. Even though you're going 180 kilometers an hour. Right? <clears throat> I think if I go left. Oh, look at this. Did, I, did he just say let me out? How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? Um, points for the quote. Basically, this is the best part of the game so far that I've come across, which is the music. It's quite tidy. So, right, let's go over that again. Again, you can play it with the mouse, but I can't trigger my turbos. I'm assuming that's what they are, because I press far and I get that massive burst of speed that takes me up to 250 km kilometers. Kilometers. Kilometers, because I'm English. Why is it not in miles? This game starts off in England. Um, once you go back to 180, you can outrun the old Bill and the agent. I don't know what the deal the agent is. Again, I don't... Like maybe there's an amazing set of instructions that really immerse you in it. Right, so, from what I can tell is you can pick up new turbos? There's, I don't know, I've managed to do a couple of stages because you find these things on the floor. So right, look, bottom left of the, the, uh, the lights. Five 
turbos, five pipettes of water above it. <laughs> it's a science thing. Right, so turbo, I'm gonna go, the tongue effects are right. Now the biggest problem with this game is, apart from these horrible controls and this not being able to go fast without, you know, turbos, is think how many of the bloody amazing driving games they were on the Amiga by 1991, the Lotus Trilogy. Crazy Cars 3, it's alright. So, I mean, obviously, by slapping Outrun on this, they thought, well, that'll make up for the fact that it's crap compared to the other game. It might be alright, but that was, I think that was something on the floor that I needed to collect. More turbos. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I do know that I keep finding trees. or well, they keep finding my face. Right, I'm out of turbos. So what do I do about him? I got a tur a oh go left a turbo right so yeah like I said the roads are too narrow when you've got the old bill and the agent and that yellow car there seems to be him on the screen at the same time you're fucked also if you miss one of those pickups for a turbo or whatever you're fucked and compare compared to other games out there at the time that were driving games if you bought this um, you're fucked. Right, got to concentrate there, concentrate. So, I always try to show all my systems that I play in the best light, but I had to show you that, because this came out after Turbo Outrun, but obviously was going to be released initially when they started developing it in 88, before Turbo Outrun. When did Turbo Outrun come out in the arcades? I don't know. But wasn't it 1989? On the micros? I don't know. The Spectrum version of it is actually pretty good. Uh, the Amiga version is alright, actually. It's better than the Mega Drive version. Fire. Right, so basically, you got to be Johnny on the spot. Also, he makes my car so I nick a bike. You're still a thief. Otherwise, I'm guessing that's why the Rogers are after us. Right, so. I, that's good. I like that. Your bike start motor. Now, obviously, you're accelerating with up. So, it's got that steering left and right while you're pressing up is... It just affects you. It does. It never works in any game. Look. Whoa! Brake! I don't think there are gears. I missed a turbo. I've apparently still got five. No, I must not have missed it there. What's the thing that's above turbo that looks like pipettes of water? I don't remember there being all this shit. Right, I have to accelerate then on the ZX Spectrum version to worry about. It plays exactly the same. Well, the gameplay style is exactly the same, I should say. It doesn't play exactly the same because you can play it with keys and therefore you have some semblance of control. Which with this god awful leaning forward to accelerate... Did I get that? Oh, that's because I was looking down to see if I got it. Right, we're going to have to accelerate now. Yeah, th these controls... And it won't let me pick keys. There's, there's something... Oh! Coming up. I don't mean to check that. There we go, I made a checkpoint. I've achieved something today. Which I really have achieved something today because, like I said, this is horrible. Maybe. Look, look, look. Maybe. Um, look, now I can't move because he's directly in front of me. So he's nicked me. I'm not going to let you out. No, you can fucking sit there and think about what you've done. Um. I don't know, maybe if I fudge around with the sensitivity on the mouse, um, I'll, I'll, I don't, no I won't, it's, honestly trust me it's horrible, but then the second button on the mouse doesn't use turbo. This game is just all kinds of awful, like, oh, putting the outrun name on this, I wonder how many poor kids didn't do their homework and were robbed. Right, a couple more goes. Right, fire. Skip, skip, skip. Skip to the end, pro. Show on you, pro. You could do, and you did do better. Look at that outrun title there. Looking at me, mocking me. Right, fire. Why would you not start in a car? Why would you, even if you had to develop the title again from scratch, not stick you in a Ferrari or something that looked like probably licenses? To be fair, just answer my own question. But. Of all things, a bike. I know you can get into cars, but the point is, it's outrun. Stick me in a fucking, at least a red car. Anything 
butter bike. These controls. I'm wondering if I can change the sensitivity of the joypad. I mean, is this not running at the correct speed? It does go Harry Clappers when I accelerate. You know, accelerate. Use turbo. Is it even a turbo? Oh, look, it's slowed down. Well, rogue soon arrow. Maybe there was legal things about what they couldn't do the original intention. How am I supposed to get against them? They're all fucking dry humping each other. Look, I've got no turbos. Hey, oh, 16 seconds. Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Do I even care? See, now you're looking for to find some fucking turbo so you can... Why is your top speed governed by that? It's not an interesting play mechanic when your controls are shite and the roads are too narrow and then you get humped by the old bill and the agent and that random bloody taxi driver at the same time. Oh, like I said... I'm sure if you Google Outrun Europa uh, originals at X Spectra and then click images, you might find that spread from, you know, your Sinclair or something. I'm assuming it was your Sinclair. A Spectrum magazine. That would have been fucking cool. All they had to do was improve the frame rate from the original Spectrum game, make it somewhat similar to what Turbo Outrun was, and we would have had a banger. Again, maybe there's legal stuff. If anyone knows the full story, let me know. But this is shite. And it came out on so many systems. Only came out on the Game Gear in North America, obviously. Because in 1991, who had a fucking master system? Well, to be fair, who had a fucking master system in America anyway? Right, even that music is great on me now. So anyway, we made one checkpoint. I'm going to go right. I'm assuming that... Does this mean... I haven't even got to the end so of one stage properly, so... Is there like that thing, track listing, track listing? You know what I mean, the thing at the end of Outrun when you die, it says, Look how far you've got. A lot further than you could ever get in here. At least when you hit the other car. I missed it! Shit. You don't get knocked off by them. Can you, I missed it again! The thing is, I'm guessing, it's, it's a taxi. Right, and what was that? that? Whatever that was, that upgraded the pet water looking thing. thing is, you've got, because the controls are so awful and it goes so quickly, you've got no chance of grabbing, you know. He says he got it. Those! Oh, mother fucker! I've only got one left, I'm gonna have to save it to. I'm 129. I'm just gonna ride in the middle of the road. Look, see now. And he. I would have got that then, but he was ramming me the mother puss bucket. Oh, fuck it. This game is awful. Why are you playing it, Dave? Why are you showing it to us then, Dave? Because. Oh, I missed it! I wanted to show you. The god awful shit that they slapped my beloved Outrun on. Fucking awful. Absolutely awful. By all means, if I'm playing this completely wrong, cack handedly, and missing the point of the controls, or there's an extra button on the keyboard or something I can press, or you do have gears, I'll take a breath. Let me know. And I might revisit. Spoilers, I won't. Right, one more go. Taking the right. Trying to get more of whatever those orange things are. Whatever, that, whatever the other, is that repair or something? Like I said, I could have probably found a PDF of the instructions, but that's a lot of work. And I'm, yeah, see? Bottom, where it looks like, you know, the flashy sign when the, de the computer shows you how to hit the Death Star in Star Wars. I, that's the worth of scripture term I know. But then above that, prepare, what, what, what is that? I've stolen a bike because someone's stolen my car, but fortunately, the bike I've stolen has these amazing computer... Oh, I don't want to use the turbos because I absolutely have to, which apparently is going to be soon. The computer, it's got computer on it, it lets me know that, you know, when the old bill... And 
the agents are around and also when my time's going to run out because apparently in real life time is a thing i mean like you know like why can i suddenly have to stop riding i understand if it was fuel but it's not it's time the bike goes beep beep time i understand it's a friggin video game got that trying to get but oh hey that took out him though Right, what's that? I couldn't go left. The, the traffic cones, you know, those plastic things that apparently act like granite. Stop me going left. This game is shite. This game is absolute fucking clown shoes. Oh, again, again, I'm sure there are people out there who can play it on one fucking life and do the... Well, you've only got one, to be fair. Do the whole game! And as I always say, good for them. Everybody needs goals, but my goals have not waited on shy games like this. One more go. We're going left, apparently. Fire, shut up, US goals. Shut up. Shut up, probe. Right. Hey, Tirtex did... No, was it probe or Tirtex did the inspection version of Turk Rover? I don't know. This is shit either way. They're both shit. Stay in the middle of the road, no, because apparently the taxi driver doesn't have to stay on the left. Hey, at least he's driving on the left. Points for, you know, it being <clears throat> accurate to the side of the road we drive on in England. Oh. God, any brakes. Oi! What is that noise? When I pick it up... Just make a beep or a crunch noise. You don't have to make a noise like I've been abducted by aliens. Again, remember what other driving games are out by 1991. Hell, Chase HQ shits all over this. I quite like the Paul Axial Amiga. Most people will say it was shit. It's better for better. I'll be honest. Right. <clears throat> I've got four left. I've got 30 seconds. Where's the bloody road split? Oh, I missed it. Here it is. Two left. Oh! Look! Now you're fucking locking on to me! I understand the old builder in it. Motherfucker! I can't. I can't face. Oh! Any more of this? The controls are awful. The roads are too narrow. The mechanics are unfair. Why do I have to constantly get turbos? Again, if I'm wrong on that, by all means, correct me. I don't think I am. The graphics are shit. I'm not in a car, and it's got the word outrun on the box. And look, can't get past him. Ooh. Look, uh, uh, uh. Uh, I don't know why I keep saying that. You can see how awful this is. Bigger trees, man. That's what this game needs, and we've got them. No! No, he's going to pull me over. Oh, look. Wow, it's just like real life. Oh! Can't play any more of this. Can't play any more of this. I played this. You don't have to. You're incredibly welcome. Outrun Europa on the Amiga, albeit in my case, the A500 Mini. It's shite. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you played this back in the day. And to be fair, if I am going massively wrong, don't worry about telling me. I certainly don't plan on playing this fucking pup again anytime soon. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.